Have you ever wondered what powers the AI revolution that's reshaping our world? From voice-activated assistants to autonomous vehicles, the magic behind these innovations is not just in the software, but also in the tiny yet powerful semiconductor chips. Today, I'm going to challenge what you might think about investing in these technologies and show you why certain companies are not just participating in the AI revolution, they're leading it. Your time is valuable and I'm not going to keep you hostage. Here's everything we're going to talk about today. Number one, the exploding demand for AI accelerator chips and its impact on the semiconductor industry. Number two, why semiconductor stocks, especially certain standout companies, are poised for significant growth. Number three, a detailed fundamental analysis of top semiconductor firms to help you make informed investment decisions. And number four, exclusive insights and tips for long-term investment strategies in the volatile tech sector. AI accelerator chip market surged to $15 billion in 2023 and is projected to hit $20 billion in 2024. This unprecedented growth is driven by the expanding role of AI across multiple sectors like healthcare, automotive, and consumer electronics. Despite facing challenges such as a shortage of skilled workers, the industry's trajectory points towards sustained expansion. Companies like AMD, Qualcomm, Micron, NVIDIA, Broadcom, and Intel are not just beneficiaries of the AI boom, they are its architects. Each of these giants is pushing the boundaries of chip technology, with NVIDIA's A100 Tensor Core GPU and AMD's third-generation EPYC processors leading the charge in innovations tailored for AI applications. As the demand for semiconductor chips balloons, the stocks of semiconductor companies have become worth trillions and is set to go much higher. Next up, let's do a side-by-side -side fundamental analysis of these stocks and what you see is going to blow you away because some of these stocks shine and others I wouldn't touch with a 10-foot pole. And for those wanting to dive deeper into investing, I provide real-time trade alerts in my Patreon. If you'd like to try my TradingView custom indicators, there's a free trial link in the description below. With that out of the way, let's jump into the beast mode side-by-side -side analysis. We're now at beastmodeanalysis.com. For our side-by-side, -side, we're gonna be looking at advanced micro devices, ticker AMD, Qualcomm, QCOM, Micron Technology, MU, NVIDIA, NVDA, Broadcom, AVGO, and Intel, INTC. The first thing we wanna look at is gonna be the PE ratio. We can see AMD is coming in at 309, Qualcomm 24.4, MU negative, and that's because their net income margin is negative right now. We've got NVIDIA coming in at 72.1, then we've got AVGO 52.9, and Intel at 91.6. Now surprisingly, these numbers are a little bit higher than expected, at least for me, and our lowest on the day is actually gonna be Qualcomm at 24.4. Next up, let's come down and look at the income statement, and this tells us whether or not the companies are making money. And I really believe a fundamental analysis can be easy when you present the data in the right way. So we got a couple of things working for us. Light blue, this is my favorite part of each section. Light green is my second favorite. Then we also have cheat sheets. So if we look at the operating margin, we can see this up arrow, and we like this to be more than 10% for long-term stocks. We can see AMD operating on a pretty slim margin at 1.76. Their net income margin is also pretty low at 3.76. Qualcomm, they're better, 21.74, and then the net income margin, 20%. We've got MU, they're coming in negative, red flag for me. We've got NVIDIA, they're very strong. Their operating margin, 54%. Their net income margin, crazy high at 48.84%. Next up, we've got Broadcom, very good operating margin, 45.92%. Net income margin, very strong at 39.31%. And Intel, 3.11% for a net income margin. Their operating margin, super slim. So just by looking at the income statement, we can see there's a big difference between these companies. We've got three of them with decent profits, Qualcomm, NVIDIA, and AVGO, and the rest are already lagging far behind. 
Next up, let's come down and look at the compounded annual growth rate. And if you need to know what anything means on the beast mode, all you do is hover over the I. And here we've got the definition of the compound annual growth rate. And then we've got a little cheat sheet down here that says if you're an investor looking for stable returns by investing in strong and large companies from the financial market, then 8 to 12 percent is a good CAGR percentage for you. So let's go ahead and take a look at these and we can see we've got AMD coming in at 15.6. We've got QCOM low, MU low, NVIDIA our highest on the day 30.9, AVGO 30.4. So we got a lot of information here and the beast mode walks you through the fundamental analysis where you can look up anything you like. The balance sheet tells us whether or not companies are financially stable and I like to look at what I call the tattle ratio and this is kind of a cheat sheet on the stock. It's kind of like what the net worth of the stock is to if they got a lot more assets than they do liabilities. So if we look at AMD, these guys are coming in the best and we can see their total assets are 67.8 billion, their total liabilities are 11.9 billion and that gives them a tattle ratio of 5.66. Very strong and typically speaking I like this to come in above 2. We've got Qualcomm strong as well 1.73 MU looking really good 3.19 Nvidia looking good 2.89 AVGO 1.49 and Intel 2.35 so overall most of these guys are looking pretty good all right, the key performance metrics, these are all very insightful to the company's overall condition. And you'll notice everything here is blue. That's because I think they're all important. So for revenue growth last year, all of these companies except two actually had a negative revenue growth. All these ones in red here, red flag. Not a good thing unless there's extenuating circumstances that explain them. But we can see Nvidia, head and shoulders above the rest, 125.85%. And also, if you guys think about it, Nvidia, they shot up a crazy amount in the last year. And look at this, they're the ones who had the biggest revenue growth last year, so it makes perfect sense. AVGO, they grew last year as well, 7.87, the rest were contracting. Free cash flow margin, another very important item. This tells us how much free cash they've got coming in, lets the companies pay the bills and expand the business. So we can see MU's got some cash problems right here. Our winner on the day, AVGO 49.22%, coming in at number two, NVIDIA 44.35, Qualcomm strong as well at 27.85 and then the rest are lagging. Then we've got the rule of 40 indicator. I love this. Uh, NVIDIA is our winner here at 170%. Number two, AVGO 57.09. We've got my FNR indicator and this is just simply a down and dirty indicator that sums up the free cash flow, the net income margin and the revenue growth, sums all of them together and the bigger that number, the better and check it out. Our winner, NVIDIA 219, AVGO 96.4. So you can see two stocks are really starting to stand out in all of the different categories. And then the book value, anytime we've got a number over one, I love looking at that. We don't have that here, but our strongest on the day is Intel at 0.75. Management effectiveness tells us how well management is generating returns for investors. And I like to look at the return on equity and the 5R indicator. And we can see we've almost got a clean sweep here because blue is best in category, NVIDIA absolutely owning it. And then on the 5R, this sums up all of the different returns for investors, gives us a number, the bigger the better, our number one, NVIDIA 368.2, our number two, AVGO 219.7, our number three, Qualcomm. And then we've got growth metrics. Companies should be consistently growing their business. Our net income growth, NVIDIA, the winner here again, 581.3. And this is why NVIDIA has shot up in value so much. A lot of people are thinking, hey man, NVIDIA is overvalued. But when you look at the fundamentals, you can see there's a strong case to be made for why NVIDIA has shot up. Then we also have the EBITDA growth, another one that I like to look at, compares everybody and check this out. Only two have a positive number, NVIDIA 384.2, AVGO 5.3, and NVIDIA again, heads and shoulders above the competition. And then the last thing that I want to look at real quickly is the revenue growth forecast for the next year. We can see AMD 13.3%, Qualcomm 6.1%, Micron Technology 58%, NVIDIA 78.5%, Broadcom 40.2%, and Intel's revenue growth forecast 6.1%. So when you look at all of these numbers, this is a clear cut case where two stocks are definitely jumping out compared to the rest and it's not even close.
After our analysis, it's clear that Nvidia and Broadcom are setting the pace in the semiconductor sector. With Nvidia's robust net income margin and extraordinary revenue growth, alongside Broadcom's impressive financials and more reasonable valuation, these two were my top picks for anyone bullish on the future of AI and ready to handle the inherent risks of tech investing. Keep it real and I'll see you on the next video.